guys, welcome back. I am just now pulling into Sprouts and doing a grocery pickup. I have not been to Sprouts in a long time and I wanted to do it again, but I kind of cheated because I did do it online and I'm just having them bring it out. But you guys know I like to do that on holiday weekends specifically because grocery shopping is just not that fun. I like to meander around, take my time, but I don't like to do that on busy weekends and where I'm in the way for other people, you know? So this just worked out really well. Um, I did get an update this morning. It is supposed to be picked up between 10 and 11 and that it was running late and they didn't have anyone to like fulfill the order, but it's 10.30 now and I got the text that it was available at 10, so it didn't end up being late after all. So it worked out, but I think they're on their way out now. But when I get home, I will show you what I got. If you guys enjoyed, please do give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday weekend and I hope you enjoy this haul. All right, my friends, I am back and I feel like I put everything out and I'm like, okay, this isn't even that big of a haul, but, but <laughs> I did get my hands on a few new items that I definitely wanted to share with you guys. And I'm trying going forward a little bit just to, you know, not overbuy. It's tempting trying new things, but you know, it'll happen. It will, but might be a little smaller week to week, but that's okay. Anyway, let me show you what I got for produce. Now, again, doing this online, I think it's a really good thing. There's pros and cons, right? On one hand, you're not really as tempted maybe to like impulse buy when you're in store and see something that you would have never saw online. There's that. But on the other hand, sometimes you can totally just forget and blank out on things you need. With that said, the lettuce. I got two heads of iceberg lettuce here and I totally meant to add some more greens to the list and I just completely blanked. I did. So I might have to pick that up midweek. We'll see. Anyway, also real quick too, just speaking of the app and stuff, um, again, I did it online, but even if you are shopping in store, please be sure you have the Sprouts app because there is a digital coupon section and you can totally use it if you're doing it like this too as a grocery pickup, but in store as well, there are lots of deals. And in fact, some of the things I got were because of that and I'll put the price to reflect that too. But I just wanna mention that to you guys, get the app, it's free and check out the digital coupon section. Got some cilantro here. There's actually like three bunches in here and I got all the ingredients, of course, to make salsa. Now, one of you told me, because I always share with you guys that I pretty much week to week uh, make my pico recipe. I'll link it in the description box. Super simple. And one of you mentioned that the way I think it was your mom or your grandma used to make it, where it was basically the same as the, the recipe I have, but you add shredded cabbage, which I do still have, and some avocado. Now, I've totally done it with the avocado sometimes and it's delicious. It is. But the cabbage, that sounds amazing. And I think I'm going to do that this time. Good little crunch, you know, just mentioning that. <laughs> but I got some white onions for that in mind too. Got the Roma tomatoes. That is one thing that you got to have. The Roma tomatoes are the best for Pico. There are so many tomato varieties out there and they're good, but this is what you need. It is. I got some green onions here as well. Got some lemons. I'm completely out. Well, actually we have one Lone Ranger back there, just one. <laughs> and then a bunch of limes. I go through a ton of limes, um, again, with that recipe specifically. And sometimes with limes, you just never know what you're going to get. Like sometimes they can be super juicy. Sometimes you're hardly getting anything, but I, I like to stay stocked up on those. Plus it's just good through dishes throughout the week too, you know, got some jalapenos too. And for that recipe as well, um, I do a little clove of garlic in there. It's amazing. And uh, I already have some of that, but that's kind of what you need. You need the white onion, the cilantro, the limes, the Roma tomatoes, jalapeno, and a garlic clove. I think that's it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, got some avocados as well. I'm, I have one left and that makes me nervous. So we definitely wanted to stock up on some more avocados. These are, I think, just like the medium sized ones. Got some asparagus too. It's on sale right now. I love asparagus. So good. It definitely shoots up in price throughout the year, depending on the season. But right now when it's good, we get it. We do. Got some more bananas as well. Also, um, cause I feel like this just really is not that much produce, but I do have some fruit and stuff, uh, frozen. And again, we are warming up here in Vegas and I have a feeling we will definitely be doing more shakes, smoothies, smoothie bowls and all that. So I do still have some of that frozen. Anyway, okay, so some of the fun stuff now. Pickles. That's not fun for me. I don't do pickles, but Nate does. I got some of these to make him some sandwiches. Let me skip a 
around a little bit because I am just smelling it right now. And my goodness, please get your hands on this. But speaking of sandwiches, this right here, my friends, this Izio Artisan Bakery Everything Sourdough Bread. And it does say on the back, vegan right there. This smells incredible. They put it all in my trunk, right? I could smell it in my car. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and it's so fresh, like it's really soft. Oh, we are gonna go in on this. And then of course everything bagels too, you know. I think I had a coupon for this if I remember right too. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Doesn't that look just amazing? I know it's just bread, but come on. Oh my goodness. So he'll have sandwiches on that this week. And then with that too, I did go ahead and get some more uh, tofurkey slices. We love these. They're really, really good. And luckily you can find them at a lot of places now. Even Target has them. Um, I get them a lot of the times though at Trader Joe's. They're a really good price there. If I remember right, they're $2.50 at Trader Joe's. I think $2.49, something like that. And I think they're a little bit pricier at Sprouts. But with that, Trader Joe's just has this one here, which is very good. But Sprouts does have a little bit more variety, I've noticed. So I got the peppered one here as well. They're just really good. Good saltiness to it. And then adding the rest of your stuff to your sandwich is just really good. And I also found the Good Planet Smoked Gouda Plant-Based Wedges. Should we try one at the end? I think we should. I absolutely love this brand. One of my favorites, actually. The only complaint that I had is that I had a hard time finding this brand. Luckily now, it is at Sprouts. But aside from that, at least for me, the only other place that I was able to find it forever, and actually I think that's how I even discovered it, was Aldi. And it was a great price there. But now that we're in Vegas, that was coming from California in the Central Valley, we don't have an Aldi here. And I really miss it, my friends. I do. I have to say, we miss it. It was really, really a nice stop for kind of one-off vegan items, too, that you wouldn't find everywhere and great prices, of course. But really, this was where I first discovered the brand, and I love it. And I have yet to try these new wedges. Kind of, what are those? Laughing Cow? Is that the... The brand, maybe it's kind of trying to mimic those little snack cheeses that are, of course, are not vegan, but these ones are. We gotta try it. We'll do it at the end. On that same note, one of you, this has been a while though, but it stuck with me, and I used to love them too, girl. I did. The York Peppermint Patties. Those are technically not vegan, and I don't believe it's because of the chocolate coating. I believe it's actually from the filling I think has like an egg white in it. And I just think it has to do something with the texture. And if you know, you know, the York peppermint patties that kind of melt in your mouth, I loved them. I did. And it's really hard actually to find like something that mimics it, you know, that's a vegan friendly one. There's tons of mint chocolate bars out there, but not with like the creaminess in it. I don't think I've tried this before. Love this brand. Love it. And thought I would give it a whirl and see, does it mimic a York peppermint patty? I used to love to keep them in the fridge too. I'm just saying, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, but it does say dairy and gluten free on it. And then on the back there too, there's no egg or anything. So I'll keep you posted. I'm always on the lookout, you know? I got some more of these green stuffed uh, olives. I love these. You guys know I'm on a kick right now. I got the really, really big ones from Trader Joe's. I love those. I feel like a little rabbit eating them, like, because they do have a pit. The ones that I got before, oh my goodness, but I just like gnaw on it. It's wonderful. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I just turned off the ice machine. It gets kind of annoying in the background. But anyway, got some almond milks here too. I think these might have been on coupon as well. So got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then one of the Oatly oat milks. I believe this was another one that I had a coupon for, but then they were out of it and replaced with this. I could be wrong, but we've had this before and it's wonderful. We love oat milk. It's great. We kind of just stick now, I feel like, to almond milk and oat milk. And we go through a lot of it just through coffees and whatever else, but that's kind of been our go-to lately. And my friends, if you know, you know, 
I am so excited to get my hands back on these Chloe's bars. They're one of my favorite popsicles out there. With that said, my all-time favorite from them is the strawberry uh, dipped chocolate one. Oh my goodness, it literally tastes like a strawberry dipped strawberry, you know, and oh my goodness, so good. But they did not have that one, at least online. And I don't believe I have seen this. It does say it's new or tried this before, but the cookies and cream one, I have high hopes. I don't think it's going to disappoint. I love all of them. But yeah, that strawberry chocolate dipped one. Oh girl, it's so good. <laughs> so good. And then I got the blueberry one here as well. These are awesome. And they were on sale right now. These can be kind of pricey. And I think these were on sale for like $4, maybe even a little less. So good. Highly recommend. I did go ahead and get some more feta crumbles. This is a staple, my friends. The feta crumbles and the blue cheese crumbles from Follow Your Heart. I've talked about them for a long time now. And seriously, they're always in my fridge. I love them. I add them to so many things. Salads, avocado toast, pastas, anything. I love it. I just tell people though that if you're not a feta person really, or you weren't in the past, or blue cheese, you're gonna hate them because they're so close. They really are. And for Nate, my husband, he's like, no, he does not like them at all. And I'm just in love. It's wonderful. Anyway, and luckily these are becoming like easier to find at different places too. I also got one of their uh, Follow Your Heart provolone slices, again, for sandwiches and stuff. I've had Follow Your Heart sliced cheeses many, many times, and it's a favorite of ours too, but I don't feel like I've had provolone in a while, so I changed it up. And then these were on coupon, if I remember right. They were actually buy one, get one free, and we have had these before. In fact, I think it might have been this one, uh, the gyozas, gyoza. I'm not sure. And it's like a pork filled one, but of course plant-based. And just if you're curious, like the macros on there, um, super simple, quick, easy meal. And again, buy one, get one free. So I got the Thai meatballs too. And I don't believe I have tried these. We will see. I don't know. What should I pair it with? Like, would it still go with like a, just like a traditional like spaghetti or should I just do it with like rice like this? maybe it's not really like Thai meatballs maybe don't go really with marinara I'm not sure but it sounded good so I got it <laughs> and then I was gonna buy some more of the impossible nuggets they do have them at Sprouts uh actually I feel like Sprouts may have been even kind of one of the first places to get them and uh, which is great so you can find them there however my friends I will say you can also find them at Walmart and they're usually six to six fifty there almost every time, right? And they were $10 a bag at Sprouts right now. Maybe they'll put them on sale here and there, but I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it when I know that it's almost half somewhere else, you know what I mean? And so this time I went with the Alpha Nugget and these were on sale this week, so I went for that. I believe we've had these before and I think my kiddo likes them, but if you know, you know. The Impossible Nuggets is where it's at. For kiddos, I feel like you're you're in like that's the one impossible nuggets are so delicious they really are it's it's kind of eerie it really is but i think he likes those so we went with that this week and then again the breads and then i got a bag here of frozen shoestring french fries sometimes you just gotta have them it's a quick easy meal nuggets fries call it good so got those and then lastly i got a thing of chips here you know your girls gotta have a chips it's a thing and to go with the pico so i just went ahead and got the yellow corn sea salt chips and that was it my friends that was it this is kind of small i'm so sorry oh let's try this let's do it so we open it on the side I'm excited gouda i like gouda too i have like a lot of like um, specialty different types of cheeses out there you know pre-vegan and I'm telling you man I feel like so many of these brands now with their plant-based cheeses it's come so far it really has okay okay just a little wedge here let's give it a whirl you know what they have too I think it's from the good planet brand I think like marinated like cheeses am I wrong I think I don't think I've tried them, but I've seen it. That'd be cool for like chicotery boards and stuff. No one would know. Nobody's gonna know. Okay, okay. It smells like Gouda. It's freaking nuts. It is. Look at that. Mmm, 
You know what that reminds me of too? It's so creamy. Mmm. I love it. Apparently, Baby Bell, Baby Bell cheeses, you know, the little wax like ones, you know? Apparently, there is a plant based version of that now. I have not seen it in person, but I heard Costco and Sam's Club are carrying it. I'll try. I'll try to get that soon. We'll try it out. But that's kind of cool to see. This is wonderful. Mm, very, very creamy. Yum. Anyway, done and done. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I appreciate you guys coming back week to week. I really do. I'll put the total here. Wasn't too bad. And I hope you guys have a great, great week ahead. And I will see you in just a few days. Bye, guys. It will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind.